here today to show you how you can control a linear actuator with an Arduino microcontroller. Unlike a switch, you're unable to interface your linear actuator directly with an Arduino. You'll need an intermediate component to control the linear actuator. One way to do this is make use of a motor driver board. A motor driver allows us not only to control the direction of the actuator, but also the speed at which it moves. I've connected the two PWM pins of the Arduino 1011 to the two PWM pins of the motor driver. These pins control the speed and direction of the actuator. I've also connected the two enable pins of the motor driver to five volts, which allows the motor driver to move the actuator. I'm also making use of two buttons as inputs to the Arduino. One tells the Arduino to extend the actuator, while the other one tells the Arduino to e retract the actuator. When we look into the code of the Arduino, we see that when the button connected to pin two is pressed, the signal to the Arduino goes low, which tells the Arduino to send a 100% PWM pin signal out of pin 10, which extends the linear actuator at full speed. When the button connected to pin three is pressed, again, the signal to the Arduino goes low, which tells the Arduino to send now a 50% PDRM signal out of pin 11, which causes the linear actuator to retract at half speed. When neither of these buttons are pressed, the actuator doesn't move because there is no PDRM signal being sent to the motor driver. While I've hard coded these speeds into the code of the Arduino, you can add additional inputs like a potentiometer to manually address the speed of your linear actuator whenever you please. Utilizing a motor driver, the Arduino gives you total control over your linear actuator and making use of various inputs allows for greater automation compared to a simple switch. And for all your automation needs, you can check out all these products and much more at forgeliauto.com.